Here's a GRE vocab question. Let's take a look. To the uninitiated, the blanks of finding an apartment in New York City seem outrageous. One must often interact with shady characters, pay opaque fees, and be ready to relocate at the drop of a hat. However, veterans of the city approach this process with blank, knowing that putting up with these unexpected inconveniences is blank. Okay, well, let's start with the most important word in here, which is however. That sets up a contrast between the first part and the second part. The first part is talking about the uninitiated, the people who aren't from New York City. Whereas the second part is talking about the veterans of the city. So we have this sort of set up contrast. Let's focus on the first part. To the uninitiated, so these, these new people who are coming to New York City with, you know, this fantastical idea about what it's going to be like, the blanks of finding an apartment seem outrageous. Then we have a colon. Now, a colon is probably the most important piece of punctuation that you're going to see on the vocab section. Because what does a colon do? It explains what we just said, right? Or gives an example of what we just said or elaborates on what we just said or defines what we just said. So the blanks of finding an apartment, examples of this are, you gotta interact with shady characters, pay opaque fees and be ready to relocate at the drop of a hat. Now, what kind of word or words would best describe that? Well, I'm gonna throw one idea out. How about unexpected inconveniences? You might say, well, where did you get that from? Unexpected inconveniences? I'll write that. Unexpected inconveniences. Well, I got it from later in the sentence, right down here. And this is a really key point. They will refer back to a concept sometimes, and it's very important to notice when they do that, right? This later part of the sentence describes these unexpected inconveniences referring back to these. So unexpected inconveniences is exactly what we're looking for. Now, let's look at the words that we have here. Vagaries, I don't know what that word means. Injustices, hmm, I kind of like that one, but let's think about this. Are these really injustices? Is that what we're describing? It's not, right? An injustice is something that's wrong. Now, you know, you, you may think this is wrong, but this is, you know, how, how New York City works. It just is. Furthermore, what we're talking about is how unexpected these things are. They're unexpected inconveniences. I keep saying those words over and over again. Unexpected inconveniences are not injustices. Because injustice, again, means that you've been wronged somehow. And I'm not looking to get into a moral discussion here, but... This is this is kind of just the way it is. Uh, so injustices doesn't work. Likewise, are we talking about how much money they're spending? In, in part, yes. But then there's also this, relocating at the drop of a hat, right? The act of relocating or interacting with shady characters, for that matter, doesn't necessarily involve paying money, right? You're, you, it's just an unexpected inconvenience. And money might be part of that, but it's not all of it. So expenses is out, meaning the first one is vagaries, which for the record means something unexpected, right? Uh, if I'm talking about the vagaries of the weather, the, the weather might blow in this direction, then it'll blow in that direction. Okay, so that's the first blank. We're halfway done, or I should say a third of the way done. However, veterans of the city, people who've been around a while, approach the process with blank, knowing that putting up with these unexpected inconveniences is blank. Let's kind of try to guess our own words here. It's always a good idea. What's the attitude of the veterans of the city? Well, they know that putting up with these unexpected inconveniences is blank. I'm going to guess something like, you know, par for the course, normal. It's just, it, it's what you got to do, right? And so if that's the case, if they approach these unexpected inconveniences with uh, normalcy or, you know, wh whatever, right? Or I should say, if they, if they know that putting up with these unexpected inconveniences is normal, then how do they approach it? They approach it with maybe a sort of fatalism. Uh, you know, that's just the way it is. It's just going to be that way. Now, it may be the opposite of what I'm saying. It may be like, they know that putting up with these unexpected inconveniences is unacceptable, so they approach it very aggressively. But that doesn't quite make sense with the logic of the sentence that we're describing here. So let's see. You could say defiance, and if they approach it with defiance, then maybe they know that putting up with these inconveniences is 
uh, you know, not necessary, but I don't, I don't see anything there that fits that, right? Trepidation means you, you kind of approach it on, on tiptoes. You're kind of scared of it or, or cautious of it. Uh, that again, doesn't go with what we're saying because we're talking about veterans of the city. They've, they've done this for a long time. Uh, and if they know something, then maybe they're more confident about it. I'll leave that in. A plum. Now, this word means exactly what we need it to mean, which means um, uh, if you approach them with a plum, you're, you're approaching it, you know, as, as it is, and you just accept the fact and you, you don't get too emotional about it, right? You're, you're um, trying to, it's a, it's a great word. Uh, if you approach them with a plum, you're, you're, you're not letting your emotions take over and you're just kind of accepting the fact of what it is. That's the word that we're looking for. And uh, so they approach the process with a plum. Uh, because they know that putting up with these unexpected inconveniences is unavoidable. Reread the whole sentence now with these three words and it will make sense. But I, I can't stress enough, this is one of the hardest types of questions on the test. Three blank questions you should absolutely save for the very end. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.